Come gather round people wherever you roam And admit that the waters around you have grown And accept it that... Okay. First thing I'm going to do is go into the partition editor and find where we're going to make the backups to and it's going to go into that 500 data directory SDA3 but I expect I'll forget and the partition we're going to back up is that second one down SDB2 say line new install so now we go into the safe that's where I keep all my backups so the top window, I forgot again, didn't I? We go SBDB2, then you've got to open up the media directory, and it was SDA3, wasn't it? Just make sure. Yep, that's the one. Now you find the directory. And you've got to have a directory ready to click on because this won't allow you to create a directory while you're there. Now you do the name. And I normally start off with the year, the month, the day, the hour, and sometimes the minute as well. And they just sort better in the computer. They're easier to find when you do that. So it's 13.25, is it? Yes. And then you can add a little message if you want. Um, that's the number of uh, cores you... I don't bother changing anything in there. I find standard is good enough. If you're really stuck for space, I think best is the one. Then you get the smallest file. So this is about the core CPUs. If you're unsure, leave it on two or try it, or one or try two. Doesn't really matter that much. Now it's off. I'm getting a bit garbled, am I? And it's nearly finished. And that's just over four minutes. But it will take a lot, lot longer if you back it up to a USB drive. They're quite significantly slower. Just be patient. Having a backup so you can turn the clock back when you screw up your computer is well worth it. Now it's not showing in there because we've only just written it and it hasn't refreshed that window. But if I close it down and reopen it, then that file we just wrote, which was 1325, was it? Should show up in here. Please, please let it happen. Get up. That's better. And there's the 1325. But it's no good just making backups. You've really got to reinstall them to make sure they work. You know, one or two. So you can have confidence in what you're doing and you know it's worthwhile. I've known people make backups for 12 months or more without trying to... Re and the first one now will later be last For the times they are a-changing Bye. Hope to see you soon. And I hope this is helpful to you.